Today we're going to show you how to use the HANA instrument. This is our HI96717. This tests for phosphates in high range from 0 to 30 milligrams per liter. In the following, Thomas is going to show you how to calibrate, validate, and test for this parameter. High concentrations of phosphates in agricultural runoff and in wastewater can cause environmental pollution as they are a primary cause of eutrophication. For these reasons, it's necessary to closely monitor the phosphate levels present in both municipal and industrial wastewater discharge and in surface water reservoirs and local laws govern the use of phosphates in the discharge levels into streams. By California regulations, the recreational water limit for total phosphorus is 0 0.05 milligrams per milliliter. However, the concentration of phosphate in drinking water is not regulated and can be found to be in much higher levels than in surface water. The total phosphate applied shall not exceed 10 milligrams per liter as phosphate. The phosphate value varies widely in drinking water in different municipalities, usually in the range from 0.5 to 5 or more milligrams per liter. We'll start by turning it on. And then to enter calibration mode, you'll just hold the CalCheck button for approximately three seconds. Then you'll see that the CAL calibration mode has been enabled. Now the machine wants it to be zeroed. Using your CalCheck zero standard, make sure to wipe the cuvette down. Then you'll turn to index it so the arrows will line up here. Then press zero. Now the lamp in the machine is reading to see that this is will be set as a zero, as it says zero. Now using our CalCheck standard for dissolved phosphates, it's set to be 15 milligrams per liter as the standard. Wipe our cuvette, put it in until it clicks and the arrows are lined up. Then we simply click read. And wait for the lamp to read the standard and the standard reads at 15 exactly as it should. Every time you calibrate it, it wants a date set. So using the right arrow and the up arrow, you can transfer between the year, the month, and the day. So this is set for 2016, April, and 21st, and that is correct for us here. So then you just hit CalCheck to store everything. Now the calibration is stored and the machine has been calibrated. You don't have to calibrate it every time. It's good to calibrate every once in a while, but before you go and use the machine in the field or in the lab, you need to validate that your readings are correct. Using the same standards, the machine is asking to be zeroed, so you use your CalCheck zero standard. Turn it till it clicks and then hit zero. Now the lamp is set and the machine reads this as a zero solution. Then using your 15 milligrams per liter standard, you will check to validate that the calibration is correct. Then insert that, make it click and hit read. And here it's reading at 15.8 milligrams per liter. This variance could be due to the temperature change and the different temperature of the standard. To take a reading, we'll take our sample vial, our sample cuvette filled with 10 milliliters of unreacted water. This is just local tap water here. So we'll put that in here. And every time you have a new sample, you wanna take your sample and zero it out before you add your reagents. So we'll put the sample in and push zero. Okay. 
And you do this in case you have dissolved, dissolved particles in your solution. So it has this set at zero, and then you add your reagents to find how much dissolved phosphates are in your liquid. You'll use reagent A. 10 drops of this go into your sample. Once you add that, you'll add your reagent B, one full pack of the phosphate high range reagent B. And now, replace your cap, invert a few times gently to mix. Try not to make any bubbles here in your solution. And you'll be able to tell instantly if you do have any phosphates, so this will start to turn a pinkish red color. But this is drinking water, so it's good to see nothing changing. We will wipe our cuvette, and place it into the machine, turn until the arrows are aligned, and then for this, taking a real reading, you want to hold the read for approximately three seconds. And then your read timer will come up. It needs five minutes to take a proper reading. And now we'll wait for the timer to reach the time of zero. And now our timer is done. After five minutes, it will read the sample here for us. And this is tap water. So thankfully we have a very low reading of 3.8 milligrams per liter. And that is the steps and the steps to calibrate, validate, and then take a sample with the HANA Phosphate High Range HI 96717 meter. Thank you.